Good morning, everybody. Here we are for another on the road edition of a song and a Bible reading. We are, um, like I say, on the way to our camp in Washington and had to drive to find a quiet place. I just realized how thankful I am for the quiet places that I've had in the past. It is tough to find. Back where I was raised, it was easy to find. And wherever we went, you may have heard a few animals um, and the breeze in the trees. But other than that, it was pretty quiet. And it was rare to hear a vehicle. Now you can't hardly find a, a spot where you can't hear the traffic or the roar of something going by. So I'm thankful I, I drove up to a high school here nearby where we are staying and it's reasonably quiet and it's a beautiful morning out too. The other day when we were going through Kansas for our American friends it was 107 degrees out so 44 for our Canadian friends and it was hot. Now this morning <clears throat> I don't know what it is but it's beautiful. I could almost put a, a sweater on but Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope everything's coming through okay. And um, maybe don't have that crackling that I had yesterday. But the song I had for this morning was Good Morning Jesus. And I'm not sure if I've sung it on here or not, but this is a popular one when we have our family devotions and we ask the kids, oh, what song do you want to sing for devotions? This is often the one that they pick. Maybe it's because it's easy to sing and say, but it's also a real feel-good song. So I'll sing it. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you come from heaven above. The Holy Spirit surrounds the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you come from heaven above. The Holy Spirit surrounds the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. How could you not feel good when you sing a song like that in the morning? Let's do it again. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you come from heaven above. The Holy Spirit surrounds the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. So today, we are reading in the very last chapter of Romans. Now, part of me wanted to skip this one because it's a lot of names and places. But you know what? Every chapter in the Bible is there for a reason. And even though it may give a lot of details concerning people, there are also clues on how the church conducted itself in relationships to another. So I think it's important to just read it through. So bear with me if I pronounce anything wrong, just uh, forgive me for that. So I'll read in my King James here from chapter 16 in Romans. If you could follow along, that's great. And Lord, I pray that if there's anything in here, and I know there is, that can build us up, can encourage us, and can change us closer into who you are, then help us with that. Amen. So chapter 16, I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Centria that ye receive her in the Lord as becometh saints, and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she hath need of you. For she has been a succor of many, and myself also. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute the well-beloved Epinetus 
who is the first fruits of first fruits of Achaia unto Christ. Greet Mary, who bestoweth much labor on us. Salute Andrew Nicus and Junia, my kinsmen, and my fellow prisoners, who are of note among the apostles, who also were in Christ before me. Greet Amplius, my beloved in the Lord. Salute Urbane, our helper in Christ, and Statius, my beloved. Salute Apelles, approved in Christ. Salute them which are of Aristobulus' household. Salute Herodian, my kinsman. Greet them that be of the household of Narcissus, Narcissus, which are in the Lord. Salute Tryphena and Tryphosa, who labor in the Lord. Salute the beloved Persis, which labored much in the Lord. Salute Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother and mine. Salute Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermas, Patrobus, Hermes, and the brethren which are with them. Salute Philogus, and Julia, and Nereus, and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints which are with them. Salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Then he goes on to some teaching. Verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto them which is good, wise unto that which is good, and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Timotheus, my work fellow, and Lucius, and Jason, and Sosipater, my kinsmen, salute you. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. Gaius, mine host, and of the whole church, saluteth you. Erastus, the chamberlain of the city, saluteth you, and Cortus, a brother. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. <clears throat> Verse 25. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel, and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandments of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. To God only wise be glory through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Well, so there we have Romans that, uh, that Paul sent, and we just so appreciate everything. And we just pray that the Lord, through all these chapters that we've read and words, that he would build us up, that he would have us to uh, walk in them as best as we can, and more importantly, as best as he will enable us. I just pray that the light of the Lord would shine on each of you today, not just in the natural light, but in the light of his revelation and his wisdom, and pray that you just have a wonderful day. We got one more short day of travel till we get to our destination. And we are looking forward to it. We're going to see Sonora and Ira and many other friends and relatives there. It's always a wonderful time. And just pray for our time together that the Lord would move in a mighty way and uh, that he would put another more building block, another building block on the kingdom of God, which you and I are all a part of. So remember your spot, hold your line, and we'll see you, God willing, tomorrow morning. Take care.